Friday Football Fever. Brought to you by Arizona Health Exercise Equipment. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? It's now time for the highly acclaimed, much anticipated Friday Football Fever. Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Collar. And I'm Ari Alexander. Paul, there are some key matchups going on in Southern Arizona tonight. Saguaro trying to prevent CDO from getting on a six game winning streak. Tucson High, the only 6A team in Tucson, trying to stick in that top 16. And we'll, of course, have more with the Badgers in a bit, taking on Cesar Chavez High School, the team Ooh, out of the Phoenix area, but also a matchup worth noting Morana at Ironwood Ridge. Big one. Oh, big time. How would the Tigers play after star quarterback Trent Borgay suffered a concussion last week? That was the question yeah. going in. Let's head on out to Ironwood Ridge with the players keeping the fight against cancer on their mind. And Morana quarterback Trenton Borgay, fresh off of a hand injury, will throw it to Gia Stratton. That'll be a touchdown. Trenton rebounding from the injury last week. And later, Ironwood Ridge's Andrew Cook will bust out with a big run, son. Cook was cooking for a 40-yard gain. And later, Ironwood Ridge's Octavio Audrey Cobos is about to throw it to the end zone, but Morana's Diego Miranda intercepts it in the end. Morana wins 20 to 13. Now, if you can't afford a ticket to the game at Tucson High, you can still see everything from outside of the gates. Come on. The Badger fan would see Jesus Montano getting the ball to Wyatt Campos for the nice gain. And hey, one play later, Montano is about to find Andres Delgado, and Delgado is going to be booking it forward for a first down for Tucson High. But the drive would stall, and then Cesar Chavez High School off of the punt would see Theric Blue juking his way forward. Nice moves. And a few plays later, this could be the play of the night. Lucas Andes is about to throw it to Jaleel Walker, and after the one-hand catch, Walker is gone with the win. When everything's said and done, he has a touchdown in Tucson Trails 27-0. Let's check it out again in slow mo. Jaleel Walker with one hand is spinning and grinning. And then he is gone. It was a rough night for Tucson High. The Badgers lose 46-14 to Cesar Chavez High School from the South Phoenix area. And from just caddy corner of the University of Arizona in Tucson High, we head out to the Far East for a big matchup. Canyon Del Oro against Saguaro. Let's send things out to Ari Alexander. Yeah, Paul, in uh, the Midwest, we call that caddy wampus because uh, also it's pop, not soda. Anyway, there are two strong 4A programs here in Tucson. Both have a chance to make the playoffs. Combined record of 10 and three. Those three losses between the two teams come from 4A, or for 5A rather, following Wells, who's number four in that class. 5A Buena and the number one team in 4A, South Point Catholic. Let's see what CDO and Saguaro have tonight. Senior night at Saguaro, where both the football players and cheerleaders honored for their four years of the program. CDO is going to get the ball first and check out the big run from Diego Mungaya. But at the end, Ahmad Hunter tracks him down, strips the ball. Damian Wright's going to pick it up. And then Damian Wright trying to set up good field position for Saguaro. He is going to get just past midfield to get their offense going. Saguaro gets right to it. The handoff to Cameron Williams from 10 yards out. That's a touchdown, 7-0 Saguaro. Third down for CDO, and Zachary Eidenschink is going to make something happen. He's going to run around, cut back, find Stevie Rocker here on third. Rocker makes the catch, makes his own cutback. He gets the first down, and that is going to set up CDO with excellent field position. Still on the move are the Dorados, and Mungaya takes the handoff around 19 yards for the score. Touchdown CDO, game tied at seven. Just the end of the quarter. Fourth and three, and Scott McKee calling the play action pass. Isaiah Grigsby to Jacob Gerke. Touchdown, Saguaro. 14 7 at that point, and the final score 42 21. Saguaro gets a big win over CDO. Let's go to Rincon hosting number four, Flowing Wells, and he's tired. To the field, Rashad Henderson breaking a 40 yard run, and there is no way anyone's going to catch him. 42 to nothing. The Caballeros lead in the second quarter. Rincon still fighting though. Quarterback Preston Silbus trying to score just before half. He's going to find Isaac Pimienta down the middle for a long gain through the Caballero defense. And they are not done. A few plays later, Preston Silvas again. Kind of that same route to Pimienta across the middle. Touchdown, Rincon. That would be their only score of the game. Final score, Flowing Wells rolls 64 to 8. 
Hey, the Caballeros are flowing well it's on a roll. All right, moving on. It was a battle in Oro Valley between two teams from the extreme reaches of Pima County. Sawadita High School from the south heading towards the U.S.-Mexico border. And, of course, Push Ridge in northern Pima County just before the Pinal County line. Let's head on out to one of the most picturesque backdrops in high school football. Gotta love it. Right up against the Santa Catalina Mountains in the foothills, of course, Push Ridge. Starting the game at 6 p.m. an hour earlier than most. And right off the bat, Jonathan Stanton for Push Ridge takes it in for a touchdown. And later, off of the punt, Sawaritas Christian Gonzalez on the return. And then he says, hmm, how about I go to the left? Or uh, maybe I go the other way. Or, um, hey, let me turn around. I think I should go this way. After all that, Sawaritas Christian Gonzalez with the awesome punt return. And then Colin Fanning will find Tucker leaning. It is the Colin Tucker connection. Sawarita playing mighty well. That's a touchdown, but Push Ridge is no push over because Evan Lovett is loving this. After the catch, he'll juke his way down the field. Turns out to be a touchdown for the Lions. In the end, Push Ridge wins 40 to 21. And Mogales traveled from the border to Sunnyside to take on the Blue Devils. Coming right at you. And check it out. Hey, Paul, what's that, Ari? Is that a TV? Uh, yeah, it is. Hey, are, are they watching the Friday football fever from the sidelines? Nah, bro, it's just modern technology, man, analyzing game stuff, who knows? But hey, they'd have to analyze this. Check out Sunnyside's Mario Chavez picking up yardage, and after that, Simon Lopez will get the ball to Dustin Archuleta, who picks up the first down for Sunnyside. And a few plays later, this counts as a pass batted away, but Nogales is Paul Garcia and Richard Hanlon. They had an excellent shot for an interception. Oh, so close, but no worries, because the boys from Nogi would force a fumble. Check out the ball bouncing around there below, and Hernan Ortiz comes up with it, and that'll help lead to a field goal for the Nogales kicker, Nate Donnelly. Sunnyside revs it up after the camera's left, though. Blue Devils win 30 to five. Hey, we are far from over with after the break. We will have highlights, including eight more schools from Southern Arizona who will end up having that Friday football fever play of the night. That's the question. Plus, Coach Jeff Skern and Catalina Foothills guns up for a win against the Phoenix area squad on homecoming, while Pueblo and Palo Verde duke it out, and Troy hopes to upset Desert View on the south side. More sports, more energy, more Friday football fever after the break. Well, thank you. All right, that was Sawadita High School's cheerleaders holding it down at the Push Ridge game. Welcome back to the Friday Football Fever. How's your energy, my high school football fans? I'm Paul Sikala. Ari Alexander is standing by. But first, quick reminder, you can see all of the scores for all the big games on our ticker right below. And, of course, we'll have full rundowns on KVOA.com. But for now, let's get right back into it, shall we? Vista Grande traveled to North Tucson, and it was homecoming at Catalina Foothills with Senior King Jaden Bowling, big man on campus. Into the second quarter, we go 7 0 Foothills, and Isaiah Bay will take the rock. And Michael Musa gets the block, and Bay goes 20 yards untouched. It's 14 0 Catalina Foothills. Then the Falcons take flight. Joaquin Holm says, What's up, Holmes? He will hit Logan Sanders in stride. 58 yards later, Logan Sanders has a touchdown. It is 21-0. Catalina Foothills now down by 27. Vista Grande looks to get into action. Eddie Diegas wants it all, but no, no, no. Enrique Perez says, that's mine. After that, into INT, nice little run back, and it'll set up this, the tractor-trailer tandem. The tractor is Michael Musa, number 68. The trailer, Dominic Bynum. He will bust out for 45 yards, and hey, Coach Jeff Skern and Catalina Foothills, they win big. Final score, 55 to six. All right, moving on from the Catalina Foothills to the south side on Valencia, where Desert View is hosting Choya High School. Ari Alexander joins us with more. To the south side, Desert View and Choya both struggled this season, but the Chargers are trying to figure out a new offense now that they have a new quarterback. Catalina transfer Malik Martin leads Choya after sitting out the first five games due to transfer rules. Let's go to Jaguar Stadium on the south side in second quarter. Choyas, Malik Martin is gonna find Orlando Chiquette, and Chiquette's gonna do most of the work here. Chargers go up 12 to seven on Desert View, but the Jaguars playing some defense. Thomas Torres 
One of the hits of the year. Bang! Look at that shot from Torres, but Choya, undeterred, not done scoring. Check out Malik Martin. He has got a cannon. I think he should play baseball also because look at this arm. He's going to find Andrew Mark for the touchdown, 18-7 Chargers. But on the kickoff, just before half, Emilio Espinoza to Enrique Gonzalez and making like Enrique Iglesias. Do you know what it feels like trying to tackle this guy when he doesn't want to go down? Do you know, do you know? Short of the touchdown, but 2.2 seconds left at half would set up a score for Desert View. Ryan Coral to Anthony Trujillo. Touchdown Jaguars. The Chargers would lead 18 to 15 at halftime. Unfortunately, we don't yet have a final score, so we're just going to have to take you straight to the Friday Football Fever Play of the Week, and it comes to us from the game you just saw. Here we go one more time. Let's take a look this time with graphics and just as much Enrique Iglesias singing. Enrique Gonzalez, one, two, three, four tacklers on him. And just like Enrique Iglesias, he can be a hero, baby. Oh yeah, Paul. Let him score away the pain. Real close though, just to the end, but that is our play of the week because four guys are trying to take him down. He broke out of all of it, the power. Of Enrique Iglesias. Never give up. And you know, we are getting that final score. Desert View ends up winning 38 to 26. So they're winners. Thank you, Enrique Iglesias. When it comes to singing, I don't know if you're a winner. Oh, I'm a ter we all yeah. know I'm a terrible singer. But when I was a little kid, I wanted to be Enrique Iglesias. That was my dream job instead of doing this. That, like, you're doing a good job, my friend. Well, thank you. But unfortunately, it's that time of the night. Maybe we could find some karaoke after this because we got to go, go home. Time to say goodbye. And if you missed any of our show, though, no worries. You can always see it over and over and over again on KDOA.com. That's right. And don't forget, for full updates on U of A football, they're taking on Cal tomorrow. You can watch News 4 Tucson at 530. Paul's going to be live outside Arizona Stadium. 10 p.m. We'll talk about what's going on in the game. And then, of course, Sunday, bear down breakdown, full highlights, all that reaction. Yeah, we're going to have it all, my friend. And, of course, you got to get some karaoke going after this. I can't sing. I need One more line. License. Come on, let's hear One more line. Uh, uh, what's a... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I can't think about it. Silent balls, let the rhythm right, take okay. you out. Time to dance. All right, Ferrari Alexander, up Paul Sicala. Have a positive, productive weekend and boogie on into the weekend into some of these montage of some of the good highlights from the last couple of games. Have a good one.